wage theft is rampant in Denver. And the most vulnerable workers are those who lack resources, who believe that if they simply speak out, that they won't be hurt. IUPAT is working in coalition with other trades and community partners to find a way to hold the subcontractors accountable and to make it easier for the workers to reclaim their money. You know, you have foremen or contractors that put a lot of pressure on people to be subordinate no matter what it takes, including pay cuts. I mean, they'll make them work you know, 20 hours a day to get the job done because, you know, schedule mandates and they don't get paid overtime. Then you also have uh, the last paycheck where people aren't getting paid the last paychecks. Jobs coming on in, thanks for being here. Shakes your hand, hey, we'll mail you a check and then it never ever comes and that particular contractor will disappear. Happens all the time. Es, es extenso. Aquí en esta compañía hubo de todo, hubo tanto robo, hubo tanto indign... In, in, Indignación, no tienes valor, ni voto, ni tampoco pues tienes la igualdad de una persona. It's not right. We got to find a way um, where they actually own up and are responsible for every subcontractor on their project. There's so many folks that feel silent and that feel like they don't have anybody to advocate for them and, and you know, if you're trying to pay your house note and feed your family, how much time and bandwidth do you have to go file claims, to follow through, to maybe have to get a lawyer? I mean, it's just the system is set up for folks not to, um, you know, recoup those wages and looking at about $750 million um, that Colorado workers have wages uh, stolen from them on an annual basis. and. Again, we don't know the true scope of that because I can guarantee you we're not hearing from everybody. And so it's a massive problem and we need to figure out how we're going to address it. The wage bond is an insurance policy. The person who has been wronged or not paid would then be able to go back to um, the holder of the surety bond and say, okay, they didn't cover it. Now it's time for you to pay up. This is money that workers a earned um, and should be paid for, but this is money also that should be going into the economy, should be going into the Denver infrastructure, and it's not. So the impact, although maybe very individual and personal for the folks that experience wage theft, it also trickles to the community. If you do an honest day's work, you deserve an honest day's pay, and we need to ensure that there's some better accountability measures in our city. Quite frankly, now is the time for us to evaluate if what we've been doing in the past is working or if it's time for us to listen to the very people who have been affected negatively by a process and elevate their voices and then work together to enact policy and change. I think now is the perfect time for us to do that. It's unfathomable to understand how much on a large scale this is. Put on a hard hat. I'll pick you up at seven in the morning and pick the job site you want to go to. This is happening right next door to your homes, to your places of business. No quiero que siga pasando este tipo de problemas para otras personas. These are my constituents. We need to make sure that we've got protections in place that they can't be taken advantage of and get rid of that loophole.